So, they kind of were talking about banning Greninja from UU, right? And ever since then, talks have kind of toned down around it, but today... I'm gonna go see if that was a mistake. Should they should they have kept up that pro ban momentum on the ninja? Of course, if y'all been enjoying the content, make sure you go down there, drop that little subscription. I am on my way to that big 10k, and we are so so close to hitting 9k subs. So help a brother out. Naturally, I knew this Koba was gonna do that, but it literally doesn't matter. <laughs> like, oh no, you taunted me. Now I get the U-turn. Now, Hydrapple's a huge threat, of course. This Mon is very, very scary, even if I don't think it's particularly strong like it used to be. And it looks like there are specs. I'm like, I'm gonna take my free knock here. They stay and then I'd like to get rid of whatever item they've got, whether it's boots or what have you. They go into Missio Toxapex, and now I can just get a U. But yeah, like I was saying, you better draw the content, subscribe. Really appreciate it. Now, the Pex is a bit annoying, I could go Tink here. As they go for Chilling Water, so yeah, I'm gonna get my, t I'm gonna go Tink and get my rocks set up. It's a pretty good play too, because I think Koba after I could always stay in if I really want. Look for a Thunder Wave, and then just make this Mon very, very, very unhappy with life itself, really. And if it goes something like Drap, then um, I don't know, just call my opponent bad. <laughs> or obvious, especially don't hit him up with it. And they go Mandy immediately. Like, this is just, like, come on, bro. Let me have my damn rocks. Yeah. Hold that. Hold that for me. Like, I hate when people do this. It's just so annoying, man. Let me have my damn stealth rock, please. But the, the, the one annoying thing, of course, too. I don't want to let this ball get too low, because it is my primary low kicks answer. Oh, it's Mold Breaker. Do you not know how many power points this move has, sir? I will set these rocks 40 times in your face. <laughs> uh, if I really wanted to go meta, but do I really want my Metagross to come in and get... That, that crit's actually kind of annoying. I say that only because I need to keep this healthy and my opponent's staying in. Like, still. I think I might pull the trigger here and switch because I think they're going to go for um another... Yeah, another defog. So now I got Metagross in. I'm gonna throw off a heavy slam. I'm banded. This should this should just drop. He obviously could switch really easily, but they might not. Yeah. Well my opponent stayed in, which is actually pretty decent for me. I can heavy slam again here? Or Siphangs? I'm a, I'm a, I'm a slam again. If my opponent gets way too greedy here, I need to punish that. As I can still set rocks again? And then this dies on the switch. And they can't actually ever switch into Tinkaton either, so there's no reason to predict. If they try to um switch into Tink, they just die anyway. And yeah, then this takes 5 million there. I'm going to Glyg... Hmm. I really want to slam again, but I think Gligar's still okay. Um... I had a feeling. Okay, cool. So I made that play because I thought they might overpredict. Yeah. <laughs> Let's go. I know I said it was a Greninja video, but it's a Metagross video. But I thought maybe they tried to predict the Gligar. And the initial the initial thought process was that they would just double. Um oh God, I have a Lorantis. My my mortal my mortal enemy, Lorantis, no. I should be able to win this with like the drill. I don't even know what to do against this guy's team. I'm gonna lead Greninja. God, like, what does this do? I'm I'm at a loss for words. Can I just surf? It's not gonna die. Lord help me. Lord help me. Lord help me. <laughs> uh, I want to keep Tinkaton around because I can T-Wave Yan Mega. Although it's going to be Terra Ground. This definitely dies to a Bullet Punch. I'm switching. Yeah. I knew you'd Facade. Now I get the BP. This guy dies. Very nice, very nice. 
It's only five Pokemon? The problem is these are the scariest of teams. These types of teams are always the most frightening because I, I never know what to expect. As you can see too, my opponent has immediately brought out this threat. I'm gonna go into you. I'm gonna throw off this Toxic. They tear a poison, I think we could still deal with them. Alright, cool. Good. Let me get some spikes up too. Actually, do I even want a spike or do I want to just pivot out? Hmm. I'm a spike. Yeah, give me some spikes. <laughs> I need these up for some of these other mons. There's also my Greninja might just end up winning with enough hazard support. Get another spiky spike, they superpower me down. Just don't be Resto Chesto. If you are, I'm gonna report you. Report you to the CIA. If you use rest here, I'm gonna cry. Don't do that. Please don't do that. Don't rest up. God, please don't rest up. <laughs> I will be so sad. <laughs> it happened, didn't it? Oh, good, 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 good. Why? Like, why? No one asked for a guav berry to be your item, bro. I'm just gonna ice beam. This is just so sad. All right, we get rid of that. And now I'm an ice type too, so they can't really go to either of these and feel super comfortable. They gotta go like Milo here. I just don't know what this Milotic does. All right, well they went into this. I'm gonna stay in an ice beam because I'm scarf. So even after a protect, I'm just faster and they, all right. <laughs> this is a battle. Crook? Alright, I'll ice beam again. Why not? I'm Scarf. I'm pretty chill to just keep doing this. You have a Milo. I'm really worried now. They're, they sacked everything for last mom Milotic. Does this mean I lose? Dear God, bro. What is this? And I'm not Encore on my Tinkaton, unfortunately. I'm not Encore Tink, this is actually kind of bad. Oh, they're this set, I see. So this is the Dragon Tail, I believe. Um, yeah. I'm just gonna throw off Bleak Winds and hope to land, because I could pressure this pretty well. Yeah, I could pressure this pretty well. The annoying thing is it's, it's this set. I know its last move is Dragon Tail. And now here I'll U-turn. Because they're going to have to recover again. Can I go meta and just... I think I just go Metagross. I Psychic Fangs. Because they should still do quite a lot. I'm going to be... I don't even know if I'm faster. This meta's kind of... Okay, I am faster. Alright, okay, we're fine. <laughs> Alright. False alarm. This is just another Metagross video, guys. And I, again, I understand my opponent had five Pokemon, but you know what? Sometimes it's players like that that are the scariest to battle. Now, this guy's got to mimic you. I believe I will set Stealth Rock, and many of their Pokemon will take Chip. So I'm going to lead off with Tinkaton. Looks pretty good here, too. I don't see what they'd lead with that I'm, like, super freaked out by. The only concern, if anything, is that Tinkaton's going to be under a ton of pressure this whole game. So, I'll probably need to utilize my Grin, not Grin, my Gligar a little bit more than I'd like. Also, even just Metagross. It does help that I have triple steel. <laughs> Having three steels in this kind of matchup is very advantageous for me. So, they lead off with you. I'm actually going to Thunder Wave this if I can. Uh, and as y'all saw, I had this set to loop. Just saying. Help! It's set Tailwind! What does that mean? Getting my damn stealth rock of what it means. <laughs> Alright, well, T-Tar is in. I mean, it's Bandit? I'm gonna go Gligar. If I get Ice Punched, bro, I got Ice Punched. There's nothing I can do about that. Well, I didn't get Ice Punched. I will now U-turn. Well, as y'all saw, I was, um, onto something. <laughs> Let me go into U. Let me go Drill and EQ this. Actually, do I double back? I'm gonna EQ. 
rescue. If they if I if I get a Terra out of this, it's fine, right? Like if I make this thing Terra, I'm pretty chill. Although I kinda like having this. It could sweep. Hmm. As I'm pretty sure I'm just gonna be slower still. They're probably adamant max speed. I don't have I don't have a switch I like. I'm just gonna Q. Hope they go like superior or something and give me a ton of chip on that. I also think Metagross just Terra stealing and bullet punching through their team is a potential win condition for me. Because I don't really see what they've got to stop that. Everything's neutral or weak to bullet punch. This is paralyzed, which just gives me a little more room around it too. And I have a feeling that some of their mons, like Ments, may not even be boots. Like, we, this probably is boots, but I'm almost positive it's two shot by a banded bullet punch with Terra Steel, so that's pretty good for me. Guy's definitely considering a Terra here, by the way. I just don't think I have a pivot that I really feel comfortable making. I'd rather try and force them into the awkwardness of wasting the Terra early and then getting beaten down. Because if they, for example, right, this goes for like Terra Ground or something. Then I can go Grin afterwards. I get free Ice Beams on their whole team. That's five Pokemon that just die to Ice Beam over two turns. And having Rocks up potentially helps with like Mince Latios, even putting them in range. Like even though I'm Scarf Grin, I still get Stab Ice Beam, so I'll do a lot of damage. As so I can see, my opponent here is very, very unsure what to do. So I'll pause. Never mind. I will just kill with Q. So like I said, I mean, it's hard for them to burn Terra there and feel good about it. So they instead sack. I have a full Tornadus. I'm just going to go to that here. Um, I am faster. As, yeah, my opponent forfeits. I was going to say, I'll probably just Bleak Wind here because there's nothing that resists it anyway. <laughs> All right, cool. We do end up pulling out from that one with a Dubski. Do not lose to Tailwind. That is always a positive. They just keep getting some games. Metagross has been quite nice. Even Gren, though. Grin felt pretty strong in that second game, at least. I mean, it just limited everything. Not like it was a particularly solid team, but, you know. So this guy does have removal. I've also been seeing an increasing amount of, like, Choice Scarf Skeletors lately, so I'm going to pay a little bit more respect to that than I normally would. I'm actually going to lead Torn in this game, though. I kind of like Torn as an idea. Grin's also very safely, just because it's Greninja, it outspeeds everything. <laughs> But I like Torn lead, because if they were to lead like Mandy there, I would just knock. And I'll knock the Pert. If he's like Banded Pert with like rocks on meta, I'd rather get rid of its item now. So they just flip turn on out. And this is fine for me. They have nothing they can go to that outspeeds me. So Thunders is the pivot. Mon's a bit annoying. I do have the U into Gligar option. Help me! Okay. Cool. I did get a Toxic off. As they do Thunderbolt there. Unfortunate for me that they made one predict and now my entire team just gets ravaged. Going to you. Go for Ice. I actually get a Freeze there, which is pretty huge. I'm just gonna go for another. Losing Tink early is not fun. The Mandibuzz has way more room than it should, and this is definitely banded. I'm gonna go my own meta. Knock? Alright. That's not good. <laughs> I'm go for that. I mean, I kind of have to Psy Fangs here. I actually- Living on one's hilarious. Um, yeah, I have to Psy Fangs. They give me Amoongus, though. That's pretty big. So now Surf Spam is possible. Surf spam is like super possible now. I'm gonna go Gligar here. I'm gonna just stay in an EQ. Nice. I actually end up threatening a two shot too. I'm a. I'm just gonna Q again. I don't see a reason not to. Yeah, so they can go Thunders here all they want. I'm gonna go Torn. Because even if you T Bolt here, it's fine. Nice. I'm gonna press spike here just in case they misplay. And in here I just go Grin. And Grin gets a kill, I think. 
They have Terra still, so I do need to be a little careful. They're gonna have to sack you. I can Terra water this still too for a little bit more damage on Mandibuzz if I need. Um, This is where it gets annoying. I'm, because Ice Beam Spam is just not really possible. None of these are the set I have. Choice Scarf, whatever. Um, Surf. Mandy Buzz is the problem. It's mixed defensive, probably. Surf only does 37. Yuck. Oh, they foul played there? Yeah, that's a throw. From them, by the way. Throw from them. Are you freaking kidding me? Oh my god, that miss is so tragic. I won without it, I think. Maybe not. Rock Slide wasn't gonna do like a ton. Throw from them, by the way, because if I spam Surf, they're put under way too much pressure. That's the idea. Um, I'm adamant on that drill. Okay, I wouldn't do like a ton, but they're in two shot range. So again, it lets me go out to my Gren and Force awkwardness. So I think we lose now. That's unfortunate. Oh, this is so sad. I'm gonna Ice Beam here. I think we can still play it. It's tough, though. They go Dirge, because, like, they go Dirge, I have to immediately go Torn. Um, and if I don't have rain, if I don't have any damage on this, then it's just, it's wraps, right? Um, I'm just gonna you here. Back into Grin. I don't really have a better play, like, I have to do this. If they Terra here, I just lose anyway. They don't even Terra, but they just live so easily. Ugh. If they, you know, it's crazy, too. They could Terra, if they resisted it, they would just live. <laughs> That's so sad. Uh, no! It's still possible to win this technically, but, like, it's not gonna happen. Alright, well, I'm missing every move, too. Okay. Unfortunate battle, but that's okay. They got some good early turns, right? That really gave them a lot of room, but the... Not, but the... And that is what I mean to say. They got some good turns early, and that gave me, like, very little room to play for the rest of the game. This guy's got some exotic Pokemon. And by some, I mean, like, Quavo is just kind of uncommon, even though I think it's probably pretty good. Ditto is not real, but I respect you for using it. I'm gonna lead Metagross, because I'm angry. Yeah, I'm gonna heavy slam this Tinkaton into Shadow Realm. It's faster than me, but, like, yeah. <laughs> Ooh, I gave him a band? Okay. All right, Killa! Hold that choice band! Yeah, there we go. That's fine. That's fine. We get rid of Tinkaton. That actually opens up a lot for Greninja. Ice Beam spam's a little better now. Marginally better, frankly. It doesn't really do a ton. This Mon coming out as a threat. I have to go Torn. He's sub. Crit there is a little annoying. I'm going to knock and try to get rid of the um, lefties. Yeah, that's going to be helpful. Because now I can U at least. Um, I don't know who I'm ewing into here. <laughs> Grin, go! Go, my soldier! Yeah! <laughs> this is the, um, awkwardness. Uh, Gligar at full is helpful for Thunderous. Um, were they Earth Power here or Dark Pulse? I feel like they just Dark Pulse, right? Can Drill win? Not really. Oh, cool. They actually let me get the spin KO there. I wasn't sure what they'd let me do. I thought they'd have Earth Power, but I guess there was some nasty plot, maybe? Alright, well now this... This wonderful individual has entered the battlefield. And this is why I'm talking about this one is, like, super scary. I want to keep you around. I'm just, like... <sighs> this is annoying. I may just have to go for Chip. You know, if they see C, it's a problem, because then I just die through Terra. Hmm. I'm trying to think this through. What's my play even here? Because Grin can revenge kill this with extra sensory if I really need it to. Q. Alright, cool. 
And I just go Greninja here and extra sensory and hope that they don't like Terra Steel or something. How much do I do with um let me actually see this. I hate that I have to go to monotype choice scarf, but it is what it is. Walk Wavel. Um let's just assume they're like offensive or something, right? Uh surf. How much does that do? Surf it, yeah, I have to censor it here. <gasps> oh, my opponent choked, though. Yes. Why'd they Terra? <laughs> Wait, why'd they Terra there? That didn't help. I'm gonna switch into Gligar here. U-turn is okay enough, I guess. Yeah, yep. Okay. <laughs> and now I can U-turn. Cool. So I get a spike for free. Yeah, there we go. <laughs> not, not the best played game by me, but my opponent threw away their Terra for... Pretty much no reason. I think if they were gonna Terra like that, where it's kind of just a greedy Terra. Insane, by the way, Surf ended up being a better play for me than Sensory. I think if they were gonna do that, I would have just Terraed with Dragon at a point. Just said, screw it, keep your sub up versus the attempts at U turn breaking it. I guess that all depends on it being Terra Steel, but I feel like there's a pretty high likelihood of that. Your Flash Cannon sub Dragon, like. Terra Steel seems intuitive, you know? But pause and get another game. Hopefully get... Oh. Oh. His team's evolved. He has a Scizor now. He changed the bug type to a Scizor. He's like, wait a minute. I lost last time to Ice Beam. I need a Mon that resists it. <laughs> Ignore that my Lodic resists it. That's not important. Man, I'm leading Metagross. I'm picking up my damn kill turn one. I dare you. Do something, little Zangoose. I would have crunt. Yeah, okay. Y'all ready to see this? Goodbye. Goodbye, Zangus. You deserve a good long rest. That's so funny. I'm also pretty sure, by the way, if I really wanted, I could toxic my Lodic with my Gligar. Y'all have no idea how bad of a play this is and how I don't care. Beautiful, and I'm faster. <laughs> Nice Metagross. You think I care about preserving my Terra into your five Pokemon team? No. Oh, that did zero too. I don't even know what EVs that means that is. Metagross? Yeah, very disgusting. I agree. Surely they go Crocodile here, right? And not... Uh, uh, this is just dead. I don't know why they didn't go Crocodile. You Terra Fire? No? Okay. Goodbye, Lorantis. See, sometimes you need these, like, confidence builder games, right? This is an example of a confidence builder game. I'm just gonna make the smart play and bring the Gligar out. I could definitely just heavy slam here. I'm probably faster somehow, too. Not even gonna risk it. I'm gonna throw off a Toxic. You can go your Marvel Scale Melodic. You see if I care. This is so sad. Chat, can we please hit 500 likes? Fine, I'll U-turn out, because he's stone-edging me. I'm just gonna do this. I'm just gonna KO this with U-turns and then get my Metagross in and beat this Milotic down. I hope y'all are okay with that. Alright. It has a Salic Berry. Help me. I'm gonna start- I'm gonna just start looking for another one. This game is very oval. My opponent cannot come back from this. I am regretfully informing him. I will go back to the Metagross. I will Psychic Fangs this. Do 500 million damage. My banded Metagross. It really is disgusting. Like, this mod is vile. The only annoying thing about meta in Yu Yu is the... Kind of what it feels like a necessity to have a dark type with it. But the dark types aren't very bulky outside of Mandy. So you end up with, like, having to go Gren or, like, low kicks. And these aren't bad partners by any stretch. It's just... I'm always left wanting more. This is an electric terrain team. This is such a cool team. I'm gonna get smoked by it, and I'm not even mad. I'm actually pretty happy about it. Anyhow, I'm leaving Excadrill, I'm sword dancing up, and I'm praying for the best. <laughs> I'm just gonna hope this doesn't have Scald. <laughs> Y'all think that it's less or more likely to have Scald? <laughs> Yo, is it a throw if I Terra immediately turn one? <laughs> Terra Dragon? It's definitely a super throw. They have a low kicks. <laughs> that Mon will pack me up. With the slightest margin of chip acquired. And I don't care. I'm leading Drill. 
It, it, these are the plays that y'all are subscribed for. It's these types of plays that make no damn sense at all. I could go Metagross and just EQ. I'm just scared of this Iron Jugulus. I don't know what bro's gonna do, but I'm very worried about it. Man, I'm leading Metagross, whatever. I've talked myself into it. Metagross lead always. God damn it. Yo, but I could Terra Steal this. Also, is Grim faster than Stoys? It actually is. That's so funny. Hey, Lokix, die. You piece of shit. You're supposed to stay in a knockoff. And then die. Okay, well, I don't know what they switch into this banded Heavy Slam anyway. Hilarious that they U-turned. I could have just not Terra'd. Preserved it for the whole game. Perish. Yeah, that's what I thought. Perish. Two hit KO'd. Get rolled, noob. Get rolled, noob. <laughs> I'm so sorry. Oh, Stoys chip? Oh, gimme, gimme. Gimme, ghoul. Hey, go for Shell Smash here. I dare you. I dare you to go for Shell Smash. Why am I faster? Why was I faster? <laughs> Brother, no! Why was the Metagross faster? No! I'm definitely preserving this, by the way, for Bullet Punch. I still live with a spike up, too. They go low kicks? Cool, bro. Um, I'm gonna go Tink here. Because I do want to preserve the Gligar for Thorns if I need it. I just... At plus one, that probably kills me, right? Oh, well. Maybe they won't be Terrain Extender for some weird reason. You never know. If they go Jugulus, I'm probably gonna still have to just try T-Waving. If they go Thorns, it's a huge, 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 huge threat. And I will Gigaton Hammer the Thorns. Alright, well, they went into Thorns. Smile. I'm gonna do as much as I can to this. I mean, I have, um... Oh my god, they just stayed into EQ? That's so greedy. And I love it, too. It was such a greedy EQ. I'm gonna Rock Slide here. He Scarf? What is this nonsense? Scarf Iron Thorns? Bro. So generally, when I'm um talking in these videos, I usually just troll. That's like genuinely one of the st stupidest things I've ever had to face. <laughs> Why am I getting Scarf Thorns? It is still cool, though. And obviously, you know, I can see the vision. You have the attack boost, and then you have a speed boost. So it's not like there's no logic used there. It's just the logic is not good. <laughs> oh, I'm actually, like, so okay with losing this, though. Y'all don't understand. When I lose to, like, shit like that, I live for it. The problem, too, is this low kicks is at full. And I think that's why I'm going to end up losing the game. I haven't been able to actually get chip on it. And not even chip on it. Just, like, I haven't been able to kill it. He has managed his Pokemon pretty safely, all things considered. And, yeah, I mean, he caught me with a... All right, so the team is getting less cool by the moment. Um, this is AV Metagross. This is... This is certainly something. Okay. It's not AV... Wait, what is just bulky as all hell? It was a chest... It can't be Chester. You're on a... It died anyway. I was gonna say, it can't be Chester Bear. You're on electric terrain. Surely not. He goes to the Chug Jug. Oh my god, this mod is freaky. I have to just go Torn. He is very Specs. That is very, very, very Specs. And unfortunately, I don't have... This is gonna take too much. But I'm making this type of play because I feel like I need to waste turns. So I can you bring out Torn here and I live. I can Bleak Wind here. Yeah, and then I can you here. It, I, I'm trying my best to, like, manage resources here, pretty much. I'm gonna go Greninja here. I have to keep Gligar alive is the annoying thing. They've Terrad, though. This is worth keeping in mind. They have Terrad. I don't know what to do do about this. Surf does 84. Please kill. Just please kill this man. <laughs> they should sack Pinkurchin. Please kill the thorns, man. God, please. Put me out of my... Put, it, put me out of my misery. I'm tired of this thorns, man. <laughs> and the reason I don't want to go um, Gligar is there's the possibility of Ice Punch coming out here. I would never Ice Punch, but like they definitely could. So now they go low kicks. They get a U and a Jugulus again. Oh. It's just so freaky. I'm 
I'm still going into Gligar. I mean, once the terrain ends, I feel like I have a decent chance of winning, is the thing. Like, here I just you. Oh, we also get um, confirmation that Lokix is potentially choiced. And yeah, my Grin's gonna just be faster. I actually, I surf here always, in case they go Thorns for God knows what reason, or low kicks. You just get your Surf KO here. I don't need, I should not be Ewing there. Because yeah, see, there you go, they went Thorns. And this is much better than you turning Because now they have to go into you. Um, and now I can use Gligar again to come out here. Go Torn, live the hit, and there you go. I'm still going to U-turn there, though. And then go Gligar here. And I'll say GG. There we go. So my opponent had some very scary sets. The Scarf on the Thorns was not something at all I expected. Um, I don't think anyone would expect it, but we were able to somehow dodge a loss there. So overall doing pretty well. We just had that one game where we got hooked up. I'm still trying to figure out where everyone gets this team from. Is it a samples team? Because I've seen it 50 million times. Stupid Ogre Pond, Hoopa, Toxapex, Scizor, Sandy Shocks, Torn. What I love about this team, though, is how it loses to Banded Metagross really hard. <laughs> okay, not really hard, but it's pretty bad, right? I'm gonna lead Metagross, too, because I can EQ turn one pretty freely. This is so sad. I'm just heavy slamming turn one now. Because if they stay in the knock or heat wave, I want them getting bodied. Yeah. And now I EQ here as they U-turn. I think this is the this is the right play. Like, obviously, they're going to get all this recovery from Regenerator. But this trade's good. And they went Sandy Shocks to eat up an EQ. Beautiful. So I need a reminder. Bulky attacker. Sure, I'm max attack, though. Don't insult my Metagross like that. Sandy Shocks. Um, yep, that looks right. Um, call it Bullet Punch. You know, you know. 12 to 14. Of course, he's right out of range. Okay. Well, I'm going into you. They vaulted there. That's an insane read. I would never vault there, because, like, what if I go Gligar, you know? But Thornier is fine for me to have out. They go Hoopa. It's a little scary. But I at least have Tink that I can throw at this. Take, like, one hit. Just one. <laughs> they know Tink's coming out. Surely they switch here. I would love to U-turn on this, but I don't think it's worth losing my Mon. What the hell is that damage? Excuse you? Brother, I did 54? Oh, hell no. Nah. Oh, hell no. Nah. Yo, I've, I've been hating on this special Hoopa for so much. So much time now. This might just be broken. This, I think this Mon just is broken. That's insane damage. That, like, that's that's not balanced. <laughs> that is not balanced. This mod's a threat, too. Um, Torn? Torn doesn't die to Bullet Punch from this, but I may have to Terra. I think I have to, actually. I think I have to Terra here, which I don't like. But this will help check it long term, maybe. I really don't like Terraing this. Like, right? I do die. Tornadus, Therian. Um, like, bro, where's the AV set for you, you man? Come on. This is a good set. Why is there nothing in the decks? I don't remember if it's Life Orb. If it's not Life Orb, I do live. If it is Life Orb, I don't live. You're not Life Orb. Okay, cool. So we get rid of Scizor and I don't even have to burn Terra. We also now have the full confirmation. This is like special, special Hoopa. This is still annoying, though. Drill's pretty good in this match, but I don't want to waste it. I'll go Gligar here. Brother, he just doesn't mispredict ever. What the hell's this? Also, Psychicking a Tornadus feels like a bad play, if I'm being honest with y'all. I don't really say that much because, like, I definitely could stay in there. So, I don't know. Some of their plays are a little a little spicy for me. I'm not sure that I agree with that level of overpredict. Uh, Ice Beam does just not kill this, so I'm going to U-turn get my little chip. Tiny chip. But necessary chip. 
You know, you talk about getting chip on team, or not on teammates, on Pokemon. Sometimes you need that tiny chip. And this is that tiny chip I needed. So now Ice Beam kills. Their eject button. Dude, is this fully special though? Like, am I even at risk of dying? I don't know. I feel like I, nah, I am. <laughs> what am I, who am I fooling? This is a hoopa. This is a big hoop. Big hoop. I am at thousand percent at risk of getting bodied by a thunderbolt. I'm just going Gligar again, because if they Psychic, I'd get Grin out. Is he, okay, so it's like special choice Scarf. Interesting. I really want Stealth Rock up. I'm going to Greed for it. They could definitely try to Paraflinch here, which sucks that it's an option. But if I get Rocks up, I think I'm safe. Hoopa's going to be taking way too much at that point. Yeah, so we get Rocks up. That's really good. I'm gonna just throw off a T-Wave on this, because I have nothing better to do. God, this Mon is- Dude, this Mon is just so stupid. <laughs> it's just so broken. It's so, so broken. I really hope they ban it soon. I don't really see a reason for it not to get banned. They are doing a survey on the forum right now about, you know, State of UU, and Hoopa's the only Mon that's even listed in their little, like, you know- this Pokemon might be problematic. Would you like to see action on it section? So I'm hopeful something happens. Also, Psychic Fang's here always because we don't let him torn. Unfortunately, this is Boots, so I don't get to KO it, and they forfeit. Cool. I was gonna say, unfortunately, the Shocks is Boots, so I don't get to have it take Hazard's chip, but didn't matter. I think that's a good one to end it on. We do end up defeating this team once again, despite our opponent's best efforts to predict every single switch of mine. And yeah, um, maybe the special Hoopa, when it predicts right, or gets like even mid-grounds, maybe I've been hating. I just like clicking Hyperspace Fury. Leave me alone. But I hope you all enjoyed this. Shouts to Eternally for the team. Shouts Big Metagross for once again putting in some mad work. I'll catch y'all next time. Peace.